the yeah, lines that we specifically want. Yeah, too, exactly, like, exactly. Okay. And then just do it in one five minute clip. Okay. We just go through the whole thing. And, but we will and, need to yeah, pause in between them. Yeah, yeah, but, but we can get it done quite quick. It's not a time thing is what I'm saying. Five, four, three, two, one, yeah. Are we doing a Zoom? I would love to do a Zoom. It makes us look really powerful. Post Zoom, we will begin to talk. Uh, perhaps we shouldn't talk pre Zoom. We are talking when we're not supposed to be. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Beginning Zoom. And looking good. Nice. I love that. Look at this spacious studio we have to work with. The miracle of modern cameras will once again save the day. Shots, they're always. How about just a snap? Okay. Mother, mother, Five, four, mother. three, two, one. Good evening. I'm your lead anchor, A. Scott McGee. And I'm your assistant anchor, Laura Dutch windmill design promises to revolutionize wind energy with the development of a device with zero moving parts. Let's just say it's hard to explain, people, but this is potentially the biggest energy advancement in human history. This is the first ever generator that does not use mechanical means at all to harness the wind's energy. So is that basically like a voodoo ghost wind chant? I guess. Sounds I mean, exciting. So someday soon, you will be able to place a tennis racket shaped collector on your roof that will power your home, question mark. That's what they're claiming, but we have Dr. Donna here to tell us more about it, really. Dr. Donna? Donna Cleveland. Donna Cleveland has a bachelorette of any kind. A doctorate? She's a double yeah. doctor, apparently. Uh, we're still going with that, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, this just in. Uh, Dr. Cleveland is actually a doctor. Oh. Oh. Boy, I'll bet she gets laid a lot. Hey, Dr. Donna! Hi, boys! Can you please explain this windmill thing to us? Well, honestly, not really. Told you so. I mean, I was going over the notes, and other than the thing produces electricity through the displacement of charged particles by the wind in the opposite direction of an electrical field, I can't really tell you much. It's pretty advanced stuff. No kidding! The engineers have designed a device comprised of a steel framework holding about 40 horizontal tubes that are insulated, and it looks a little bit like a tennis racket. Each of the tube has several electrodes and the nozzles, which spray positively charged water through the air through a process they call electrospraying. Interesting. Indeed! The positively charged particles, of course, naturally move towards the negative electrodes. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. I mean, I mean, that's that's just common that. knowledge. <laughs> but when the wind is allowed to push the particle away from the negative electrode, it increases the potential electrical energy. A little like a like pushing a rock up a hill against gravity, kind of like Sisyphus. This increased energy is what they then collect, and I think it's just crazy, dude. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Before long, homes and buildings will soon be producing more energy than they can consume. Well, the technologies are so advanced now that hopefully our fat human asses will finally give back more than we're taking from the planet. Neat. And necessary. Okay. 
And now in a special segment, we're cutting back to, uh, oh. And now for a special segment, we're cutting into Aspen Arrow, who's doing a live interview on the school that we like to call the School of Life, or the School of the Road, with the fellas in the uh, band, St. Cinder, a band that represents the hobo ideology and life on the open road. What did the man who owned the couch say to the hippie who was staying on it? What did he say? Namaste, man. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Here we go, everybody. One. Say it one, two, one, two, three, four. Again, when did you uh, when did you pick up percussion? Oh well, um, I've been banging on things since I can remember. Have you constructed this ensemble yourself? I've constructed all the random things I use, like a hair pick as an instrument, <laughs> two pairs of spoons, you know. And yeah, you can't forget the twelve gauge shotgun shells. Right? Primer, <laughs> primer still in hand. Yeah. You know, you got a little cup on here. Some service bells that I stole, uh, a symbol that I cut down and then filed on the street. And you know, a little jazz. Recycling. It works. <laughs> <laughs> Good job recycling, everyone. This is where your stuff goes. <laughs> Cody, when did you start when did you start playing banjo? Uh, about uh, three years ago, I think. Three years ago. Picked up my first banjo, yeah. Practice often? Uh, I want to eat, yeah. <laughs> so, does that, does that mean you play for food? Uh, yeah, but it's not a very good audience, so I try to play for people too. Would you consider yourself a successful musician? Hell no. <laughs> uh, trying. Happy, are you? Yeah, I'm a successful hobo. <laughs> you know, better than most hobos, worse than most musicians. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm in the in between. <laughs> let's talk with uh, let's talk with Alex for a minute. Uh, nickname Pappy. Pappy, everybody. <laughs> so, um, no, no time for studying, I assume. I was going to, but then I went to New Orleans with these guys. <laughs> oh, a, a road trip, eh? Yeah. Road trip. Road trip. Yes. <laughs> what did you learn in New Orleans? <laughs> <laughs> that sobriety is paramount. <laughs> Can be. <laughs> that it. You have a lot of really good music. Charlie, guitarist, vocalist, and hey. what else? Um, hobo. This is Dagan. Dagan's my, uh, he tells me what to say. No, no, Cody's my attorney. Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, um, traveler, talker. I tell a lot of stories and talk a lot. And do you write music for the band? I do. Uh, one of the songs that we played earlier I wrote about my family. Um, just from personal experience and then just making making a fun tune out of it and like, I don't know, something that people might be able to relate with. This is how you spend your free time then, creating these beautiful ways for people to relate. Amongst other times, sometimes I hang out at Oberon's Tavern. Nice place. Hey, cheers, Vikings. Hey. 
Hey, good dancing. Hey, who is this bird guy? Video game? Bravo! That's hi. What's this plan? She's cute. The party. All right, fellas. Well, thank you for coming down and playing for us. Hope you've learned something. I'm Aspen Arrow. This has been Southern Oregon News Network. Back to you, fellas. Okay. That's it for us. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, it's between my legs. Oh, God. Thank you, Aspen. That was, um, lifey. Uh, I, I'm gonna go with lifey. Lifey. Yeah. And thank you, Saint Cinder. See comment on lifey. Preview broadcast, and we're excited about going. And see you later. Bye. Okay. So we've got. Oh, here's Aspen Arrow, our weather lady. Oh, not weather lady. Educational. Hold on. Let me, let me. Welcome to the Southern Oregon News Network, and I can do very impressive things with my eyebrows. Yeah. Uh, existing equipment, uh, uh, something about... I feel like you didn't read your story before you did it. Shame on you. <laughs> you're supposed to set an example for me. I'm a newbie, and you're an old hat. I don't like it when you call me old hat. I don't like it when you steal my parking space. It was never yours to begin with. <laughs> I ride a bicycle. <laughs> Those pussies in Oregon, 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 the, uh, oh, shit, that was <laughs> <laughs> completely, just, oh, that was really good. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to the seal one, though, because that's actually some really interesting news. Oh. Back yeah. to something that's actually interesting, super steel. Gordon wants to talk about it a little more. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. I didn't read the notes either. It We're like a hot air balloon that's partially deflated. Okay. And the deflate cable broke up. Oh wow, you really bowled yeah. out that. <laughs> I can't be on all the time. <laughs> Untrue. That's why they pay you the big bucks. How do you know this about me and Gordon? <laughs> because I sit outside your house in a bush, masturbating. I shouldn't have said that on camera. <laughs> that was too creepy. I shouldn't have said that at all. I trust you less every day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think you should say 13000 a year because I don't know what K uh, means. I mean, I do as a, as a theory, but... You are an ignorant savage. <laughs> Good evening. If you're not laughing, then fuck you. <laughs> I'm feeling spicy today. Wow. My jacket got zipped up. <laughs> The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. <laughs> Ready? And <End> scene. <laughs> because if you are a fan of horror movies or scary movies, this is a delight. It's a treat. It is the most exciting thing that I've ever seen. And honestly, Everyone has to go see it. Everyone. The Baba Duck. Okay, don't do right. this. Gotta do a sexy walk. Like this. Sexy walk. Hey, motherfucker, I don't swing that way. What's up, weatherman? Yeah, nah, I mean, Watch out for the cold. You're doing something like that? Oh. oh. I was. I'm, I'm sorry. But I think my right. shit can hold off till later, girl. What you doing? <laughs> yeah. No, don't, don't ever stop till I said we done. This tree don't knock itself down. <laughs> Are they recording? You know what? You know what? Yeah. I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right here. Now we'll be cutting to a super informative commercial break that'll tell you how awesome and amazing our sponsor for this show is. After which you should run right down and purchase all the beer you can drink. No, that's, that was wrong. Sequel. Uh... The majority of the world thinks that Georgia is just a state. It turns out it's actually an entire country. Doesn't that freak you out? Georgia, not just a good place for peaches. And now we'll be moving on to our new weatherman. We haven't assigned him a name yet. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> Rising from the myths of obscurity to a... <laughs> okay. Rising up from the mists of obscurity to a modern age, 
to take you to a new level of television entertainment at RVTV. It's the Southern Oregon News Network. Cha -cha 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 -cha. The most newsy news on the net, now broadcasting live on RVTV. Southern Oregon News Network, a half-hour comedy show that's vaguely about the news. Is it, now it's on RVTV, right? Voices? Oh, okay, coming to, okay, ready? One, two. Coming to RVTV Voices, Southern Oregon News Network. News Network, News Network. The newsiest news on the net, broadcasting to you from the depths of Studio A. Southern Oregon News Network, a half hour comedy show that's vaguely about the news. And vaguely comedic. I'm longer playing with my pen, so now I'm steepling my fingers constantly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good evening. I'm your I'm lead, lead anchor. anchor. He's Scott McGee. <laughs> These are working. Sorry. And I am your co lead anchor, Gordon Mackey. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, and this is where I'd want the so shot from the side. Yeah, we should cut uh, into a dynamic side shot. We've been over this. That's my line. I always do that line. Right, right. I dream of the day that that's me, but until then, do what you got to do, and I'll back you up with a plumb. A plumb. A plumb. Okay. I, you know, I was. I did. I laughed inside my heart. Let's try that one one more time. You're laughing now because you think I made the Lord of the Rings. You're Lord. always making Lord of the Rings references. <laughs> it's like you sneak it in. You sneak it in everywhere. Boy, the teleprompter is actually freaking my mind out a little bit here. I'm going to just wing it. I always do that line. That's the lead anchor's line. I feel like you take all the good lines and I do cat videos. Because I've been here for 10 years and you've been here for 10 days. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's always undermining. Can one of you do something about this? I don't know if anybody has the power to stop me. Moving forward into the broadcast. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that, folks. I'm working with monkeys here. <laughs> Can I is tighter than it was before. <laughs> He's been here for 10 years. <laughs> this is professionalism in action, people. But first, we take a break and have a word from our sponsor, Oberon's Three Penny Tavern from right here in Ashland. Ah, Oberon's, a place of babes, bards, and booze. What more can you ask for? Good nod. I like that. That was powerful. That was a powerful nod you just did. That was a real good one. Okay. Ready when you are. Oh, oh, uh, wow. wow, that was a short break. Uh, what was that, like a 15 second commercial? That's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, that uh, <laughs> looked like a pretty cool place though. It did, but I'm saying maybe a 30 second commercial next time would be really excellent. We gotta do it again, we didn't get this shot in time. Okay, okay. I think break. we're at different tempos. <laughs> oh. This is my cup. Oh, yeah. It's camera two, though. Uh, uh, I guess I'm getting powdered, too. And we'll go. We're rolling. Cool. Okay. Good evening. I'm your lead anchor, A. Scott McGee. And I am Gordon, and I'm also a lead anchor, but I haven't quite made it there yet. This is the Southern Oregon News Network, and thank you for tuning in. That's my freaking line! Ah! I told you I always do that line! I don't even know what's going on! Okay, but this time not smiling. Okay. Okay. And this is the Southern Oregon News Network, and thank you for tuning in. That's my freaking line! Oh, I always do my that! jacket! Really? This That's how you're going to play with it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only jacket I've my got. My jacket! God damn it. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 tonight's uh, NASA headlines uh, uh, conduct a seven day sleep study kittens in a cafe. Kittens in a cafe? That sounds unsanitary. Indeed, Portland, you dirty, dirty bastard. It's a city of wild inconsistencies. Kittens, cafes, I don't even know what's going on. This guy. Uh, I, I believe it was 72 million. 72 million on a Hollywood movie called Gravity. And that's what India paid, or was it even India? Yeah, that's what India paid to put the first satellite into space from an Asian country. That's very impressive. You didn't even read this story, did you? I never bone up on my material before we get into it. I like to wing it. A $400 party starter 
And the guy running the teleprompter probably freaking hates us. <laughs> What's cooler, a $400 party starter that isn't just this a is, cooler? This is stupid. This is stupid. I don't want to do this. I can't believe people fundraise that much money for a cooler. That's ridiculous. I let you fucking do the cats. Okay, sorry. Oh, let's just, yeah. <laughs> are you a cat hater? Okay. <laughs> I'm not working with you if you hate cats. Cats are the best. Uh, I like cats. I like goldfish. Do your cat. Uh, uh, I just did the cat one. Do it again. <laughs> uh, how about whatever comes up next on the, on the thing there? Okay. Uh, the coolest cooler. <laughs> he finally <laughs> found it. The coolest cooler. A four hundred dollar party 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 starter. Party starter. The coolest cooler. A four hundred dollar party starter that doesn't just store food and drink. It has a blender, a USB charger, and a Bluetooth speaker. Oh yeah, this is the one the, that you messed up. <laughs> uh, Assist stuff. Whoever types this shit into the teleprompter should be fired. Somebody should go back in time and slap him and tell him to spell check. Kapow! No. What the hell is a perfaces? Uh, I believe that says yes. Perfaces. Perfaces are vocabulary word for the night. Temp potholes. I think that's probably all we really need, right? Okay, yeah. On that one. Kids! <laughs> Ages 10 through 13! You can fly! <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're on drugs, kid. Oh, oh, yeah. It's a lot about drugs tonight, kids. <laughs> <laughs> kids, there was a lot of joking about drugs. And let me tell you, drugs are not funny. They're not, they're not funny unless you're on them. If you're on drugs, they're a lot of fun. Yeah. What is this? This is live TV, people. Are you guys have a hat gag? We're not even a part of this gag. Nobody will. I already brought my hat. You didn't get the gag memo. <laughs> it's happening, though. Hat party! Wow. Are you guys not even offering us anything to drink on the side uh, of the set? That, that's rude. That is very rude. I certainly hope we're done with the broadcast. I'm going to start drinking heavily. Why do I always get stuck with the drunks? Why do I always get stuck with the drunks? Mmm. Ah. Can we sure? just get through one broadcast, people, without... You sure you want a nip? Southern Oregon. Okay. Go for it. Fuck it. Family Nobody's yours. watching anyway. Exactly. Watching them throw the ball halfway across the field is probably some of the most exciting thing I've ever witnessed because it's like, where are they gonna go? I don't know where it's gonna go. Do, do they know where it's gonna go? I mean, honestly, they could go anywhere. And like watching it go, and you're just like, you never really know where they're gonna throw it. And like, oh gosh. And like seeing those players get all excited and then just like spank each other's booties, just like getting all up in their feelings and, oh, God, oh, football players are so close. Oh, they're so close. <laughs> I'm Donna Cleveland, and that was the sexual sports. We at the Southern Oregon News Network do not like to address real issues, therefore we'll now indulge in cheap character attacks on the frontrunners for president. We at the Southern Oregon News Network could not afford to send a reporter on the campaign trail, so we will just make short declarative statements about the character of the candidates. Hmm. Will Mike Huckabee be leaving his show on Fox News to once again run for president? I don't know, but he certainly looks somewhat like a hobbit. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Getting back into it. Is this a camera? Yeah, this is a camera. Like, kind of expressive. Is there parts where you, are you like... No, I don't... Do you yeah. want me? Yeah. Hi, welcome to the Nympho uh, movie review. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, the psychological fear aspect of this movie is too terrifying to be turned on when you're watching it. But afterwards, when it, yeah, you're just feeling those fear, and then you just get to be really close with someone and have that same fear, be really re consensual fear, creature of fear that has been in your nightmares since you were a child.
to be quite honest, every single nightmare you've ever had is probably based around this book or movie, which had a book in it with the fears were based around. Don't worry, it works. It's really terrifying and everyone needs to see it. The scariest thing you'll ever see. It'll scare the pants off. Of. It scared the pants off of Gordon and A. Scott last week, which is why you didn't know that they weren't wearing pants. Um, Hmm. I'm Donna Cleveland, and I seriously think that if you watch this, you will have to change your pants. So, like, bring a new pair, okay? I'm Donna Cleveland, and before I watched this movie, I was wearing pants. Now they're tights. I'm Donna Cleveland, and this has been the Nympho News. <laughs> I'm Donna Cleveland, and there are three things in this world that scare me the most. The Babadook, clocks, and radiators. They're terrifying, so watch that. I'm Donna Cleveland, and I'm not just wearing these glasses because I'm smart. I'm wearing them because they look good. I'm Donna Cleveland. Back to you, boys. The end. I'm Donna Cleveland. The end. <laughs> the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. From our family here at the Southern Oregon News Channel to your family at home that I'm sure you're watching curled up with, thank you for tuning in to another wonderful broadcast here on RVTV. We're excited and delighted to be a part of your new constant obsession. Go I back up to the top. feel weird about that. Oh, well. I'm being compared to something I don't even know how to listen to. Even though old ladies everywhere cringe when they hear us say it. This has been RVTV. Good night, everybody. And remember, there's no sin like stupidity. And the things that you're absolutely certain of are almost never true. Stay classy, Southern Oregon. Stay Oregon, Southern Classy. Set rivers deep and that rivers wide Well I see you pours on the other side It's rolled up bounds on the stranger's shore Rivers rise into my door They can my home to the field below It's rolled up bounds no place Can't go home.